We just had a, an incredible morning um, here in the stadium at IWU uh, with the, the front ensemble and a very special guest, Mr. Lee Howard Stevens. Kind of highlight how we uh, take what Mr. Stevens kind of pioneered and developed as far as technique and how we apply that to what we do uh, in the show and with our technique team here at the Coast. So I did the uh, Lee Howard Stevens Marimba Seminar five years ago, which was 2017. And that was absolutely a fantastic experience. First, the opportunity to network with um, other curious-minded musicians. Of course, the opportunity to study with uh, Lee Stevens and see his demonstration of his mastery of the of the marimba. And I would say that that experience at that camp set me off in a direction towards my musical career and where I am now. So I, I credit a lot to my experience in that camp. The newspapers sometimes say he invented formala technique. Not at all. Uh, formala technique probably goes back uh, hundreds of years. What I did develop was a different way of holding the sticks, a different way of manipulating them that enable you to do certain things that before were considered to be really impossible for one player. Now with this new technical system, and, and it's a finger actuated, a finger held uh, technique that's a little bit more pianistic than the percussion way that the instruments have been played before. If I pantomime a cross stick traditional player, they play the instrument like this, and the way I play the instrument is more like this. I've had very, very limited exposure uh, to drum corps through the years. A few times friends have taken me to events. I've done a little tiny bit of coaching, one or two days here and there. So this was really, really exciting to be here at the time where the blue coats are actually rehearsing and to see the incredible work that uh, has been done here with the corps to take the concepts of method of movement, my technique system, and apply it to an entirely different universe of music than I ever anticipated it would, it would be used on. And so it was really, it was flabbergasting. Uh, another vocabulary, I was uh, uh, gobsmacked. I was uh, astounded. It was just fantastic. And, and uh, it's musically on a very high level, theatrically on a high level, and technically on a really, really beautifully uh, elevated level that I didn't expect.